What's up, everyone? My name is Ruben, and today we're building the Breakdance official menu. Yes, that menu. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. It is 7 a.m. on the dot here in Texas today. Whenever you see this video, it's a different time. But it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and today um, I have an idea. Last night I couldn't sleep, and I want to rebuild this menu. Before I talk and keep going, this is the menu I'm talking about. It's the official breakdance menu. I'm in love with it. And last night I thought, this can't be that hard to build. It can't be too much custom code. And it's, I only found one line of code that I did not know how to add into breakdance. But other than that, it's 100% breakdance. And maybe someone can help me. Well, anyway, let's dive on in. Let's take a look here. So this is my website here. Just a blank page, nothing special, nothing crazy. It doesn't have a menu because we're gonna add one. So the first thing you have to do is go to the dashboard, the back end, um, go to breakdance, go to header headers, add a new header. So I'm gonna call this one a breakdance header. And in this, so if you're gonna build this for your entire website, you can do everywhere, but I'm just gonna build it for that specific page. I'm gonna add a condition that the page is um, menu test. Okay, so now I added the menu to this specific page here, not messing up my entire website here. So now we're gonna edit the menu and it, excuse me, edit the header within Breakdance. The first thing you have to do is add the header element, the header builder element. Right. Next thing you have to do is add really simple, add a div. Next thing you have to do is add a um, image. Um, the reason why I add an image, because I went to the website and I hope Lewis, let me go to the desktop here, doesn't get mad at me, but I brought over just the logo. His little, little logo. I don't, I don't want him to yell at me for using that. I'm going to delete it. Lewis, I'm gonna delete this after the fact, but I just wanted to show the people how to recreate this here. So next thing you wanna do is add a menu, the menu builder. This is the one that has all those cool drop downs. Um, not, the, not the WordPress menu, but as you can tell, it's not right yet. And then I'm looking at the menu here. I'm looking here on the website. It is the icon, the menu builder, and and then the two buttons. I think they're buttons, but they could also be dibs. But let's say let's assume they're buttons, right? So add here, add a button, add a button. I'm gonna have to do a custom button because I have some effects over all this stuff. Anyway, um, let's actually edit the button first. Go to custom here. It says get. The first button says get. Uh, customize size. I think he has a small. Mm, maybe it is small. Uh, corners are not rounded, squared. Custom radius. Let's say 20, uh, 10, and no, 5. Uh, 5 may be it. I think five is it. So let's do the same thing here. So copy and then paste the design. See how easy that was? I'm not gonna worry about the colors because you can do that yourself. Break dance 1.3 is out now. Okay, so we have the menu. And I think it's pretty clearly, the colors are not there and then it's missing the dot. Let me see if I can add the dot. This is where I did not know if it was in, if it was in if it was a, um, oh, let me, let me talk through this process. I don't know if it was a div because that little dot. So when you custom, when you do a custom, um, button, you hit the custom element towards the bottom of the, the rack. I call it the rack. 
Um, there's an icon. Choose the icon. Let me look at see if there's a dot. There's no dot. Uh, the reason why I say because I don't know if they have if there's an icon that has a little dot on there. I've never seen one. The worst case scenario, if it's not a an icon, um, what you have to do is make it a div, and you build the div like a button, right? Uh, let me just use the lightning bolt. I like that. That's fine. Uh, I'll do it before. Uh, there's a little spacing. You can change the color to yellow. And you kind of get the idea, right? Kind of get the idea of what it is. Okay, so now you grab the div. Um, change the horizontal alignment to center. So now everything's in the center. And then you make everything middle. And the middle kind of just stacks everything, vertically aligns everything. So now we align everything center. Now let's add, we can add a little gap in between. Um, I don't think he added the gap. I don't think there's any gap. Um, yeah, that looks good. So now we have the menu. This is where the magic happens. So now what we have to do is enable sticky. The sticky enables you to come back. So now on the scroll behavior is hide after you can change this for your website, but I chose 400. So look what happens when you scroll down under scroll behavior. It, this is, um, it would disappear after 400 pixels. And turn on hide until scroll. All right, so this means it's gonna hide until you scroll back up. Oops. Reveal, excuse me. Um, not that you can <laughs> reveal on scroll up. Here it goes. So boom, then you scroll up. See, it comes back down. So it's gonna hide. So if you scroll up and scroll back down, it will go away. And that's what the that's what the menu does with breakdance. So you can change um, uh, how long it takes. If you want a 400, 500, you want a 10, you want it immediately. Change that within hide after X amount of pixels or, and then turn on reveal on scroll. Next thing you have to do is turn on the opacity. As you can see the opacity now. So let's take a look at the front end to see what we have. So boom, we have the menu here. And there's only the last thing we have to do is add the menu or add the background to the div. Ready? So we go here, click on the div, oops, the div. Okay, now go to the background of the div, make this, uh, oh, I'm happy to make the text white. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now we add um, black background. Now you have to, on the container itself, add a little padding, right? Let's do 10. 10 pixels. And then on the borders, add, make them a little bit rounded. I don't think he added that much padding to it. So let's do five. Mm, let's do two. Okay, let's see how this looks. Refresh this. Obviously the text is wrong, but I like the way that looks. Yeah, so now we go back into the menu here. Uh, do, 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 do. Go to the text on the desktop menu. Uh, let's change the links typography and change that to white. And my friends, you have officially recreated the breakdance menu. And it was really that simple. Well, let's actually, look, I'll show you here. Let's refresh this. And obviously you wanna change the colors of the buttons so you can have, um, so they can look a little bit better. And let's do that here, since we're here. So go to the button, customize the button. Let's make this a little bit gray, a little bit grayer. And then once you have the color you want, you click, copy, you paste the design, and then, oops, I don't need the element on that. 
get rid of the icon. Excuse me. I don't need the icon on the second one. Here it goes. So now you hit save. And it's that simple to recreate his break dances. Um, header. Thank you for taking the time this morning to watch this video on how to rebuild the menu. And I hope I did it right. If you find an easier way, you let me know. But I think it's pretty easy. I hope you have an amazing day. Keep building better websites. You get it? You got it? Yes. You can do it.